I'm Patrick Denard from Medford, Oregon. I'm going to give you my pearls on using cuff mend augmentation using fiber stitch for medial fixation in the soft tissue. So this is the left shoulder. I first done a fiber tack bridge knotless repair with three 2.6 fiber tack RC anchors medially and two swivel lock anchors laterally. I like to determine the need for cuff mend augmentation preoperatively using the row heat index. I think that's the best indicator you have of the chance of healing of the rotator cuff. So there's a couple of pearls for doing cuff mend augmentation after rotator cuff repair. One of those is the lateral portal placement. So we look at the outside view. This would be the placement that I use from my middle anchor just off the corner of the chromium. And for perspective, my lateral cannula is down about uh, four centimeters from the lateral aspect of the acromion. This will again make it easier to insert my graft spreader uh, just above the rotator cuff, parallel to the rotator cuff. Prior to inserting the graft spreader, I like to confirm that my angle of approach is going to be adequate for my medial fiber stitch anchors. So in this case, again, I've already put in medial anchors along the greater tuberosity, and I'll just first confirm if those portals are going to be adequate these are typically going to come right off the corner of the acromion. So this is my middle anchor placement we can see on the outside. And on the inside, we can see that I'm going to be able to get a good angle of approach. Probably this one's going to allow me to get to both the anterior and posterior aspects of the graft. But if I feel, especially in the back, that I'm going to come off, I'll assess a slightly more posterior placement. So in this case, I placed a posterior medial anchor, and I'll check. And here we have a nice angle of approach. So here we have the graft spreader inserted in the standard fashion. I like to confirm that I'm over into the musculotennis junction. So here is the lateral aspect of my sutures. So I want to be just over medial beyond that because I want to avoid hitting those sutures. And again, we see that we have a nice parallel approach to the rotator cuff because we place that low lateral portal for our rotator cuff repair. So I'll hold this against the rotator cuff. Once the graft is deployed at the graft spreader, I'll insert the skid off the lateral edge of the acromion. Again, for my anterior fiber stitch RC, I'm going to use the middle anchor placement right here. We have a good angle of approach to the graft. I like to use the skid for insertion of the RC because this avoids any soft tissue uh, tangles. Once I have the fiber stitch RC in place, I can back the skid out slightly and then I can use a variety of suture configurations. One option is to use a mattress configuration from anterior to posterior. However, I typically find that a one-on and one-off approach helps really bring down the corners of a graft. So we'll pass the fiber stitch RC through the graft. So there we deploy our first anchor. And then again, I like to go a one-off, one-on, so I'll go slightly more medial into the soft tissue. I'll pull back on the wheel and then advance. So there are two passes. Once I've deployed both anchors, I'll then take all three suture limbs on the outside and gently pull up to remove slack. Next, I'll grab the loop and gently tension down the first anchor. Once I have my final tensioning, then I will cut the free limb. With the tensioner cutter, I can remove any additional slack if necessary. And I like to leave just a very small tail at the edge here. And again, I'm going to do a one-off, one-on configuration. First through the graft. Pull the wheel back, advance it forward. I'll come out of the graft. Then I'll come back through the soft tissue, slightly more medial. We'll grab all three limbs and gently remove the slack. Once I do that, that'll help set the fiber stitch anchor. Then I can pull on the loop to first advance down and then pull on the final free limb to get final fixation. Here you see we have nice fixation in the soft tissue immediately. The graft spreader is removed. I can then obtain my lateral fixation by two self-punching push lock anchors. Once I pick my location for my lateral push lock anchor, I'm going to make sure that I have a little bit of extra slack in the system because with this self-punching anchor, the slack will be pulled up as it's inserted.
we'll insert to the point where the anchor is at the level of the bone and then remove the orange tab on the outside and deliver the remainder of the anchor into the bone. Finally, we're going to place our anterolateral push lock anchor. Here from our lateral view, you can again see medial fixation extending from medial to lateral with the corners brought down by the push locks.